Most people expect that veterans, after the sacrifice they've made for our country, for our way of life, that when they return, that there's going to be an abundance of opportunities there for them to take advantage of. The shocking reality is that that just happens not to be the case. Veterans lead the nation in homelessness, depression, substance abuse, suicides, and we're right up there in joblessness as, as well. And after having spent 38 years knowing those youngsters while they served in uniform, um, that statement was a, a real kick in the gut to understand what that meant. For a significant percentage of our returning veterans, I think that most of us blissfully are unaware of the real cost of fighting for our freedom and that that cost is borne most heavily by the soldiers that are returning. After high school, I joined the military, I joined the Air Force, so I just got out like about two and a half years ago. I went to Iraq five, five months out of basic training. I had to learn what, a trial by fire, I guess. It was an experience, not necessarily a pleasant one. On the way in, there was a lot of uh, turbulence due to RPGs and uh, people shooting at us from the ground. And the uh, pilot was doing almost like barrel rolls in a C-130. And we had 30 people in the back just crammed like sardines together with all our gear and everything. It was at least like 100 degrees in there. And that was, you know, my first view into Iraq. And then when we landed, of course, seven minutes later, we started getting mortared. We got mortared about three or four times a day. Um, we had to worry about sniper fire in certain areas of the base. Um, when we went outside of the base, especially, we always had to go in a group, um, in a squad, at least. 10 people with a senior NCO as well because we had to worry about, well, IEDs, um, UXOs, which are unexploded uh, ordnance. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. I mean, I was especially like the first, in the first two weeks there, I couldn't sleep. After, after a couple weeks, you just get used to it. You know, it either hits you or it doesn't and you just, you gotta put your faith in God and just hope that it doesn't happen. When I got back, as soon as I got home, I had my mom's condo we got foreclosed on. She was essentially um, on the streets too. It was a nightmare, to be honest. Sometimes I couldn't sleep, like I had insomnia. I would wake up sweating. I went to a vet center and they said that I had PTSD and generalized anxiety disorder. I was uh, bouncing around um, for about two years, uh, different people's homes. Um, you know, f first family, then friends. Then I lived in my car for like the entire winter. And when I came here, um, you know, I saw what the place was like, and uh, it just it was beautiful. They've been helping me a lot with uh, my resume, with uh, interviewing skills. That's one thing that I was sorely lacking, because I, you know I had one job pretty much since I was 18, and that was all I knew. You know, they didn't teach us those things in the military. You know, these veterans come back and. You know, there's just not a structure to help them assimilate back into society. So many of them come back with mental illnesses or physical illnesses, um, are jobless, um, you know, trying to keep their families together. And what this organization does, which is, you know, uh, really impressive, is giving them support services of job training, mental health um, services, uh, physical health. Um, all of that, it helps them get back into society. These are people with, with stories and a purpose in life that have just 
experience hardships in one way or the other. And there's no face that's, that's characteristic of homelessness. It's not just someone out there that's lazy or someone out there that, that wants to work the system. You know, these are people that they want to work, they want to contribute to society. These are, these are veterans that, that, that are proud for, their, for serving their country. And I, I can't tell you how many times the guys will tell us, I'm a veteran, I'm a veteran. And, and they're really proud for that. And so it's, it's a tragedy that there has to be homeless veterans. And then when I got here and I saw the sign out front, I was on Hope Manor, and then when I actually saw the place and that I could stay here, you know, it's the perfect name for it because after, after so long living on the street, having no hope whatsoever, it gave me hope for a better future, a better me.